they are proving to be more difficult than we thought. So power tools will be utilized. Hi, I'm Rachel Lynn. Welcome to my living room makeover series. I just bought a house a couple of months ago and I am finally at the point where I am ready to start doing some makeovers around the house. I have been documenting my journey here on YouTube to living a better financial life and I am here to give you tips, tricks, inspiration, and motivation along your financial journey. So yes, I am slowly making over my house on a budget. I was originally going to have one video all about my living room makeover. However, I've filmed quite a bit and I'm still not quite done. So I decided to make this into a multi-part series. I will leave a link to the full playlist down below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. Now, let's get into it. Good morning. It is barely six o'clock and I've been hard at work this morning and then I just realized I didn't give you a before shot. So um, I am clearing things out of my living room because I am going to be painting soon. Um, it is really early. I have school today um, and I should be getting ready for school, but instead I'm like clearing out my living room. This coming up week is spring break and I plan to paint in the living room because this brown color is just really starting to get to me. Um, it's just very dark. It's very depressing. I'm just like, oh, it just, I feel like I'm sitting in a room full of poop, actually. It's just gross. <laughs> um, and after doing some other things around the house, I decided I'm going to paint. I have already started prepping and preparing, and um, I'm sorry that I'm, I'm not going to take you through every little step, but I will try to record as much as possible. Anyway, here is the before shot. So this is walking down the hallway into my living room, and you can see like this wall is actually a much darker brown than the rest of the walls, and um, that just adds to the darkness in here. I actually prefer this color, I think, over this color. I don't know, it's just like, it's, ugh, I just hate the brown. So this is like my little command center right here. I keep um, my masks in here. I keep my keys in here, some other stuff that I need in there. This stuff right here came from the coffee table. My hands are always dry and my nose is always running. So yeah, so this is basically the before shot. And there's the paint. So this is the color that I am thinking about going with. It's a lighter gray. All the stuff has been cleared out from in there, which that's fine because I didn't like the way it was organized anyway. And like here is a mounting rack for a TV, but my TV doesn't fit on it. Someone left me a lovely hole in my wall. There's another one down here. Right there. And not only that, but there's a matching set on the other side. So this is the closet. So we can peek in this little hole right here and we can see into the living room. <laughs> so there's the living room, peekaboo. I mean, isn't that really cool? Like there's a peep show in my house. <laughs> yeah, that's not cool. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more pan from the front of the room. This was pushed back. So um, this is what my living room currently looks like. And yeah, so we'll uh, see what happens next. All right, it is the next morning and I just wanna show you what has been going on in the other room. I have lots of plaster on the walls um, or whatever you call this stuff. My dad has been uh, busy, busy, busy at work. So I know it's dark out, but it is, it's the morning, I promise. <laughs> um, I just have to get up super early for school. This is kind of where we're at right now. My dad came over yesterday afternoon and he did almost all of this while I was at school. So then um, after he left, I moved <laughs> the rest of the furniture out. I cleaned off these shelves. Here's um, before things get sanded and all that stuff. So all that. Um, and then this wall, this is the big wall. So we took down the TV thing. Um, my TV didn't fit on it and <laughs> I don't know how to get it to fit. So yeah, so this is all like rough. The wall here was very uneven, so um, like you can see how this is brown and then this is all white because there's so much stuff like in here and I don't even know 
what was going on there. Like, I don't, and now that I'm looking, I see some other dings and stuff in the wall, but anyway, so this is kind of the state of things right now. This is a whole other situation. My dad said, oh, I know how to fix that. So, um, there's that. And there's also like speakers up in the corners. And I think I decided that those are going to come down. I don't know if they work and I don't plan on using them. So anyway, I think my dad might be coming later and he's going to sand all this stuff a little bit better. Just make it look really nice and smooth and have nice smooth walls. And then the couch. I want the couch to be covered, but I need a place to sit. That is where we are at right now. <laughs> I'll see you later. I'll show you the next process. I gotta get my coffee. I gotta get to school. I will see you later. All right, this is pretty much like the second main day of work. Um, my dad has not been feeling well the last couple of days. He's um, His foot has really been bothering him. And then when he actually <laughs> went and got that checked out, they also did an ultrasound. He has some kidney stones. So um, that's not the big deal. His foot's really been bothering him. But um, so my dad hasn't been able to like do a whole lot, but he did try and come today. Um, couldn't do a whole lot today because he still wasn't feeling as well as he thought he did, but we did get some stuff done. Um, I have to stop. I'm, I'm meeting my great aunt. Um, she's like 93 years old. I'm going to meet her. We're going to go to church and go to dinner and, um, that's become like a new weekly thing. I just kind of wanted to show you like what the state of things are as of now after the second day of work. I mean, we didn't work for very long and not a lot was done because my dad just couldn't do it and then like I mean I don't know what I'm doing but anyway we got through most of the sanding done um, I also got out the rest of the furniture um, I'm keeping this in here as a work table because this coffee table is in horrible condition so why not just use it um, there's not really anywhere to put the couch if you can call this a couch, love seat, I don't know, whatever. This is all I have. <laughs> but there's not really anywhere else to put it right now, as far as I can tell. I don't I don't know how well it would go down the hallway. So I just decided to just cover it. Then I've taken down um, the curtain rod. I'd rather them be up closer to the ceiling and then like wider out. Oh gosh, it's so bright, it's hard to see. Um, and so like wider out so that when the curtains gather on the side, they'll be in the wall, like in front of the wall instead of in front of the, the window. Put them about right there instead of where they were. And then we were trying to get these speakers out because one, I don't even know if they work and two, I wouldn't know how to hook them up if they did work. Um, but they are proving to be more difficult than we thought um, to get them out. So power tools will be utilized. There's this one over here um, that also needs to come down. We didn't try this one, assuming, you know, that they're both the same. I don't know if I ever pointed this out, but this light also kind of like fell down. We got something to kind of like try to get that taken care of. Um, we filled in more holes. We did some most of the sanding um, and then I pulled out the mop and I'm actually going to use my mop that's I mean I just bought it brand new it's only been used a few times in the kitchen um, so it's not like super dirty or anything I think I'm going to use that to actually wipe down the walls so that all the dust is gone from the spackling um, and then I got spackling done in the hallway there's not a whole lot but um, there's like a couple of things here and then a couple of things down there and then on like on like this wall right there. So not a whole lot there. Um, and then another big thing I did was I took out this telephone line thing here and I filled in the holes. I need to put more speckling in there. So what I did is I put some speckling in there and it's it just keeps going in the hole. So I'm going to let it dry and then put more speckling on top of it to like fully fill it in. So this is the thing that was in the wall before and I took it out and even with the pink speckling in the wall and the hole and the hole in the carpet, I think it looks way better now than it did before. So this is kind of the state of things. So this is kind of like what it's like right now. I do want to like wash off the walls, make sure everything is sanded. Um, this stuff up here needs to get sanded because it was just spackled today. Um, there's another nail above the door that needs to get, get pulled out, but we haven't done that yet because my hammer is at school and my dad never brought his hammer here. So I have all that. And so this is kind of the state of things right now.